Welcome back to Program Logic and Design. In this section, we're going to be discussing the advantages of modularization. Programmers seldom write programs as one long series of steps. Instead, they break down their programming problems into smaller units, which we call modules, and tackle one cohesive task at a time. The name usually reflects programming language being used at that particular time. So we can also call them subroutines, procedures, functions, or methods. Procedure we use in Visual Basics, and functions is C and or C++. Methods, as you should know, is Java, C Sharp, and quite nearly most of the other object-oriented programmers. And subroutines would be used more in our older languages like BASIC and COBOL. As recalled, what I said right at the beginning is that modularization is the process of breaking down a large problem into modules. And computer scientists also call it functional decomposition. Now you're probably asking why. Why do we do this? The reason is, main reason, is that you can't eat an entire cow. You'll have to break the cow up into sections of pieces and eat it bit by bit. I love that analogy because it kind of describes basically what modularization is. Now the reasons which they give here is abstraction, which we'll discuss in the next slide. It allows multiple programs to work on one problem at a time. And you can actually reuse your work more easily. As mentioned before, modularization provides abstraction. Now, one reason that modularized programs are easier to understand is that they enable a user to see the big picture. So abstraction is the process of paying attention to important properties while actually ignoring non-essential details. Life will be incredibly tedious without abstraction, making complex tasks look simple. Example, you can create a list of things to accomplish today. Do washing, call grandma, start an assignment. These are all low-level details. Now, without abstraction, the list of chores would begin. Pick up the laundry basket, put washing in the car, drive to the laundromat, get out of the car, etc. That will be your high-level detail. So our high-level details correspond to our newer high-level programming languages, which use English-like vocabulary, and one broad statement corresponds to dozens of machine instructions. Modules provide another way to achieve abstraction. Now, another good analogy to mention is that there are many items in our world that perform single functions, such as a light switch in the classroom, which only controls the lights, not the lights, air conditioning, overhead projector, computers, fire alarms, etc. Having one switch that controls everything makes that one switch very difficult to program and maintain. Remember, if you follow the art world, if you look at an abstract painting, there is no detail in an abstract painting. Please read the following article on abstraction, which is saved in your student data file, or you can get it off Schoology. Modularization allows multiple programs to work on a problem, so it's easier to divide the task among various people. Very rarely does a single programmer write a commercial program. Professional software developers can actually write new programs quickly by dividing large programs into modules, and then they assign each module to an individual programmer or team. So modularization facilitates the development of programs by a team of programmers working at the same time for the end product. Now, modularization allows you to reuse work. So when I talk about reusability, it's a feature of modular programs. Now, this allows individual modules to be used in a variety of applications, and many real-world examples of reusability can also be applied. So using reusable modules leads to the reliability of programs, which assures that a module has been tested and proven to function correctly. Let's take, for example, your math program, your math class in Java. When you want to square root something, you use the square root method, which has already been tested and proven to function correctly. You use that instead of going side times side, which will give you square root. That concludes for now. Uh, please join me in the next video, which we will be discussing how to modulize a program.